When I was young, I said to myself, the first car I'm going to use will be made by me. And that was in the year 2009. When it gets to year 2017, I was in my final year stage. I spent three years working on the vehicle then. So after the third year, the car moves. I'm from Ikiti State, Ori Ikiti precisely. I went to Olabisi Onobanjo University. I studied plant science. So you might be wondering, how can a plant scientist build a car? Actually, I wanted to study mechanical engineering, but I was denied twice. So instead of me going back home the second time, I had to take the plant science. So out of that, taking the plant science, I go out of my course to learn more about mechanical engineering. So when it gets to year 2017, I was in my final year stage. So I started gathering materials, gathering tools, which I will use in working. So then I will come from Agowe down to Ibadan, just because I want to fix this thing. The first vital materials I use, the wedding machine, because I had to learn how to undo the wedding machine to wed my melters together. I started with the tube chassis, which is the skeleton of the car. I started buying things that I cannot manipulate myself, like the wheel, the engine, the steering. I did the chair myself, I did the chassis, I did most of the thing myself. So after I inserted that, the car moves. I spent, let me say, I spent three years working on the vehicle then. And after it moves, I started working on the covering, which I use fiberglass and the resin with, the chemi with some chemicals to make the body harder. So for the mold, I use carton for the whole body of the car. My mom do tell me like, if she buy me toys when I was young, I will, like, I will lose it, dismantle it, to see what is actually working in the toy. So the vision started from when I was young. But when I was in secondary school, like I said to myself, okay, for me to just become, become what I want to become, I had to make something out of what I do to make myself happy. And all these things make me happy. I used uh, four years to complete the old vehicle. So I, I started 2017 and I finished 2020. So the little money I received from home, I saved. I saved part of it. And after my education, I went for my youth uh, service club, which is in Ondo State, Odei really. So let me say 80% of my allowance was saved just because I want to acquire my dream. And when I spent all the money on the project, it's the project, uh, the project wasn't standing at all. So I started selling some of my things. So after selling, the car moves. So when it got to the covering stage, I saw people that, that actually helped me. The day I took the car outside to the main road, my mindset changes, which is, okay, if people can, can value this thing, and if you see the car then, it was just uh, bare high on just metal, not covered. So if people can value this trash, and how would they feel if I make something more beautiful? Actually, my dad is a mechanic. So I've been following him to the workshop when I was small. So anytime the car has issue, I have to, so I do my things myself. I repair myself. And sometimes I carry the car out of Ibadan. So to teach people on what I do. I do teach core members in camp. So I drove it down to Isenyi, let me say three times. From my car, like everything is kind of the same with other cars. My engine is being positioned at the back and the reason is for smooth movement. So I have a new project I'm doing now. Most of the time when I see all these crippled, disabled people outside with their wheelchair, 
it saddened my heart. So I decided to make something which I called inverse strike. It's using a 14 inches car wheel at the back, 15 wheels of motorcycle wheel, two in the front. And I, I serves on 125cc engine, which has a five gear transmission to help people with all this disability. If Nigerian did not value technology, I don't think we are going anywhere. So if Nigerian can look into that, that, that thing, that, that space, I think something better will be coming out of this country. I want to tell people, like, with the little resources they have, like everybody own a potential. The only thing you have to do is just to discover your potential, discover yourself. And before you can discover yourself, you just have to, you know, take your time. Know the kind of person you truly have.